Hello guys, welcome back to P7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between three technical terms used in the concrete construction. That is the stirrups, ties and spiral. These three types of the reinforcement are known as the transverse reinforcement. There are two main types of the reinforcement in the construction. One is called the longitudinal reinforcement and one is the transverse reinforcement. These three technical terms comes under the category of transverse reinforcement. Now, what is transverse reinforcement? The transverse reinforcement are mainly used to either to resist the lateral loads coming on the structure. These reinforcement to resist the lateral loads that is coming from the wind or from the earthquake or, fr or from the water on the structure and also they helps in the confinement of the concrete. Confinement of concrete. Th these are the two main purpose of the transverse reinforcement. And the longitudinal reinforcement are mainly responsible for taking the main load of the structure. So what is the difference between the stirrups, ties and spiral? I will explain the difference between these three technical terms in a very simple and easy way with examples. So now let's consider this is an example, example of beam where it is has been shown with the lateral or with the transverse reinforcement. So these reinforcement that is used to confine the concrete these vertical lines has been shown here is known as the transverse reinforcement and in case of the beams these reinforcement are known as the stirrups so what is stirrups the reinforcement the transverse reinforcement that is used in the construction of beams is known as the stirrups so the transfer reinforcement which are used in the beams we simply called such type of the transfer reinforcement are the stirrups. Simply the purpose of the transfer reinforcement are the stirrups and the beams is to resist the lateral loads and for the confinement of the concrete. Now what are the ties? The ties have the same purpose as the stirrups but when we use the transverse reinforcement in the square or in the rectangular column so such type of the reinforcement the transverse reinforcement will be called as the ties so if this is example of square or rectangular column rectangular or square cross section of the column and we use here the transverse reinforcement is shown by blue lines all the blue lines shown the transverse reinforcement so such Transverse reinforcement is known as the ties. The purpose of this reinforcement is the same as the stirrups, but in square or rectangular cross section of the column, such reinforcement will be called as the ties. Is this is a different technical used name for the column transverse reinforcement? Now, what is the spiral? Spiral shows the reinforcement that is in spiral shape. So its name shows that it is in spiral in shape. So these reinforcement, this transverse reinforcement that are spiral in shape, that are used in a spiral shape is known as the spiral reinforcement. And if we consider this is an example of a circular column, circular column, or we consider this is a circular pier or pillar. So the transverse reinforcement that is used to, that is used in the circular column pier or pillar we call such type of the reinforcement as the spiral reinforcement. The purpose of spiral reinforcement is the same as the stirrups in beam or the ties in column. But when the reinforcement, when the transverse reinforcement is used in the circular shape of the column or the circular shape of the beam maybe, so the circular shape of the transverse reinforcement will be known as the spiral. These are just the technical terms used for three different types of the reinforcement but the these are just the technical terms used to differentiate between their use otherwise the purpose of these reinforcement the transfer reinforcement is the same they resist the little loads and they are used for the confinement of the concrete so steps is used for the beams ties is used for the square or the rectangular column it should must be column when we use the ties and beam always have steps and the spiral always used in a circular column pillar or pier. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.